Hi guys, today's video is going to be a product review of a um, product from the company Ichabod Tala. And I did kind of like a haul um, initial review thing of them a while ago when I first got the package. But now that I've given everything a chance and I've tried everything, I'm going to do kind of more like um, solid reviews of each uh, individual product. So the one that I'm going to be reviewing today is Cake Frosting. Um, and it's underneath their for the bath thing if you go to the website and I'm just going to go ahead kind of talk about what this is read the description um, Let you know how to use it what I think of it the scents and stuff and um, Yeah, so the first thing is I'm just gonna read the description off the site um, Yeah so it says cake frosting creamy frothy decadent is how you will describe our cake frosting bubble bath cream line um, cake frosting is a delectable bubble bath crossed with a bath oil. It looks like real cake frosting. We added skin, um, skin moisturizing sweet almond oil and mining, mi oops, mild foaming agents to leave your skin feeling silky smooth and fill your tub with long lasting bubbles. Choose from our four cake frosting scents. Um, yeah, so that's basically what it is. And it's really interesting because it does look like um, cake frosting. Um, if you can see that, my light's so bright. And it's really cool because it it looks just like it. I think it's really neat. Um, I love cute products like that and I thought it was really, really interesting and innovative in a sense because I haven't seen anything this original when it comes to a bath product. Um, yeah. So, in terms of how to use it. Um, basically, when you get the, uh, the tub like this, it's a very, very thick cream, like as you can see. Um, I don't want to put this on my butt. Um, it's very, very thick. And basically, um, how to use it. It says on the back of the container and the label here, it says, it says directions. Add two tablespoons of cake frosting to running bath water. Enjoy. Now, I tried it a bunch of different times. Um, I've used it maybe three times and I've gone through like maybe that much which is like to here um not very much at all and the first time i used two tablespoons i found it made almost too much bubbles it was almost overkill um the second time i used it i used about like one and a half i found that like a really good amount and then the third time i used just like one spoonful and I find that's good if you want like not a lot of bubbles and you still want some scent but you don't want it to be like super powerful. Um, so it really depends on how much you like your bubbles, how much you like your scent lingering on you. And um, I guess it would depend too on like how big your bathtub is. I have like a smaller bathtub so I don't have to use as much um, bath products. So anyway, yeah. So as for actual experience, um, the bubbles made like it made fantastic bubbles and the bubbles smelt like this which is really interesting um i like that i find a lot of the times when you put stuff into the bath um it kind of loses the scent and this lingered so that was good um i like really strong bath scents so it's not that it was necessarily really strong it's just you could smell it which is good because the smell is really good um yeah and then as for the moisturizing very very moisturizing um i actually wanted to just like take the bubbles and like lather like that makes no sense but the like my left my body feeling really really good it didn't feel greasy um it just felt nice and moisturized which is really good um yeah and then after i got out of the bath um patted down whatever um i could smell this on my skin for quite a while after which is what i really like i like that some people don't like that as much but i really do um yeah so as for the scents um the one they have amazing scents like on the website like top of the notch scents of everything that i've smelled um so there's four different ones to choose from um there's french almond people walking down my stairs there's french almond marshmallow swiss buttercream and strawberry um the one that i picked is swiss buttercream and this smells so freaking good like it smells exactly like buttercream like i i wanted to eat this it's absolutely delicious um i imagine 
if this scent speaks for the other ones, the other ones will smell incredible, I can just imagine. Um, I definitely want to try the other smells as well because it's just like, oh, so good. Um, I think the marshmallow one would probably be one of my favorites, but that's just me. Um, yeah, so um, as for the actual like container, you get 200 grams. Um, and then if you go, I guess, kind of like by what I do, like I'll use probably like one to one and a half. Um, I've used this three times and I'm about that far down, I'd say. Um, so just kind of guesstimating, I'm assuming I could probably get maybe like five, six, maybe seven more baths out of it. So that's pretty good for, um, it runs for $8.95 Canadian, so a little less American, I think. Um, which is really good because when I go for baths, I like to consider like how much money am I putting into this bath? Like I like Lush. I love bath products. Don't get me wrong. But a lot of the times with Lush, you get a bath bomb for like five, six dollars Canadian here and you break it in half and you use it twice or maybe maybe three times. And when you look at that, that's like almost three dollars a bath which is, you know, a little pricey when, you know, it's kind of a luxury thing, but still, it's kind of pricey. Um, so when you think about how much you're going to get out of this, it's... Whoops, I just dropped it. Um, it holds up against that, but... <laughs> when you think about how much money you're putting into something versus, like, how much you're going to get out of it, um, I'd say it's definitely worth it. And, uh, yeah, so I really like this. Um, I think it's really cool. The packaging is cute. The site is cute. Um, I love, love, love this. Like, I can't recommend this more. Um, if you're looking for something unique or you're looking for something cute or good smelling, it smells so good. Um, please, please check this out. And um, yeah, so I guess I'm like, I like to do kind of ratings. So um, on a scale of, I guess, one to 10, um, in terms of smell, absolutely a 10. Um, Bubbles is like a nine. You can like it's not like a super like oh like covered in bubbles, but it's enough to like cover your tub, and the bubbles stay there for a little while, so that's good. Um, the bath water made the bath water kind of creamy, not milky but creamy. Left my skin feeling moisturized. It smells freaking amazing. Um, the price is really good, and yeah, so that's kind of my review of this so definitely definitely check this out i highly highly recommend it um yeah so i think that's it that's pretty much all i have to say um yeah and it's and it's cute because like you could you could leave this like i feel comfortable leaving this on my counter like i don't have my bathtub here i have it at my mom's house but um and it's funny because i have all my bath stuff here to review but i don't have a bath here let's anyway um <laughs> but yeah, no, and I, like I'd feel comfortable leaving this on a counter because it's so cute. Um, yeah, so that's it. I rambled for long enough, and um, yeah, so hopefully you kind of enjoyed that review. Um, love this. Get it. It smells so good. Um, <laughs> yeah, so until my next video, I will talk to all of you soon. Bye.